my channel and welcome if you're new here. Spring has sprung. It is 67 degrees today, so I was feeling like a yummy spring dessert. I wanted it to be not only clean eating, but also WW friendly. And what screams spring more than lemon? So I am making a WW friendly clean eating lemon bar. These are phenomenal. Seriously, these are so incredibly delicious. You can have one every day because they fit well within your smart points. So if you wanna see this little fun spring baking video, stay tuned. I'm gonna run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. For today's spring baking recipe, we're gonna be doing a healthy lemon bar. Both my husband and I love lemon bars, so I cannot wait to make these. So let me show you what's in today's recipe. First, you're going to need some flour of your choice. You could use all-purpose whole wheat. I opted for the organic oat flour from the Thrive Market. I will have Thrive linked down below for you guys. You know I love it so much. It's a great online resource for organic, good whole foods. They have food, household, baby, pet, you name it. There's even a link down below for $20 worth of free product when you join the Thrive Market. So you're gonna see a lot of products from Thrive in today's videos and in most of my videos. So this oat flour comes from there. Also from Thrive, I have this organic coconut flour, coconut oil, maple syrup, eggs, salt, honey, and a big lemon. So let's get started on today's dessert. So the first thing we need to do is put together the crust of our lemon bars. So I have three quarters of a cup of my flour. And again, I'm using oat flour, but you could use really whatever flour you wanna use. We also have one third of a cup of coconut oil. So we'll add that. One quarter cup of maple syrup. And then we want about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So I just have some pink Himalayan salt here. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. Give this a stir. You wanna make sure everything gets combined really, really well. You want it to form a wet dough, kind of like you would if you were making cookies, a similar to a cookie dough. And then we'll get this ready to go into our baking pan and into the oven. Go ahead and grab out an eight by eight pan and a piece of parchment paper. We're gonna go ahead and take the crust mix and put it into the bottom of our baking dish. And then we're actually going to use our hands to spread this out nice and even in the bottom. And this is going to go in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. We want the crust to pre-cook. So when we make our lemon, it stays on top like a traditional lemon bar instead of soaking into the crust. So we wanna give our crust a little bit of a bake before we add in the lemon. So our crust is ready to go into the oven, 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. While our crust is in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and put together our filling. So first I have six eggs that I went ahead and just cracked separately. You know me and shells, so I always crack my eggs separately. We also have one half of a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice and one third of a cup of honey. This is the raw honey from Trader Joe's, so it's nice and thick compared to traditional honey. So make sure we get all that out of there. We're also going to add the zest of our large lemon. It wants about four teaspoons of lemon zest, which is pretty close to what that large lemon did. And then I have four teaspoons of coconut flour. And last but not least, just a pinch of salt. Give this a good whisk. You want this nice and combined. Do be aware that it is going to be runny. And don't panic if your lemon curd is pretty runny because it is supposed to be that way. I made sure I read that part in the instructions so I didn't panic myself. So give that a good mix until everything is nice and combined. All right, the crust is out of the oven. We're gonna let this cool for just a couple of minutes and then we'll go ahead and add on the lemon portion of our bars and get this back into the oven. All right, and the last step is the lemon right on top of the crust. And then this is going to go back into the oven for 30 additional minutes. And then we're gonna let it cool completely before we cut our bars. But oh my gosh, this looks so good. My bars may not be perfectly square, but you know, this is my first time doing this recipe, so we're gonna go with it. So this is going back in the oven. 
All right, I just pulled the lemon bars out. These look so good. They do need to cool completely before we cut them. We are going to add a little bit of monk fruit powdered sugar to make them all the things like real lemon bars. So as soon as these cool, we'll get these cut and I'll be back to show you our completed dessert and give you the smart points. All right, so here are the lemon bars. Go ahead and cut them into six teen servings i have some more sitting over here but these are the completed lemon bars these look so good you guys they have that nice thick kind of graham crackery crust the lemon on top i just dusted them with some of the monk fruit powdered sugar for zero points so you can have one bar for five smart points on both the blue and purple plan and six smart points on the green plan so not bad for a lemon bar and boy these look delicious Thank you for joining me on today's spring baking video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me make these lemon bars. Again, these are so incredibly delicious. They feel like a decadent, like you're indulging in a really point heavy dessert and they are not point heavy and they are clean eating. So highly recommend that you give this recipe a try. The recipe will be on my website. My link to my website is down in the description box below. Also in the description box is the link to head on over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us and all the links and codes to my favorite things to save you a little bit of money and pick up some favorites online. It's a great time to do online shopping with everything going on in our world. So take advantage of those discount codes down below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on. I'd love to have you be part of my YouTube friends and family. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're here for the lemon bars and leave your comments down below. I want to hear, are you guys going to give this recipe a try and maybe leave me the lemon emoji just for fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.